Alrighty, what's going on everybody? Of course, my name is Lotwing Iron, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to, of course, a brand new Disney Infinity 3.0 Star Wars edition, of course, news update. Today, we've got a ton of really cool news. We have a new trailer, we have a whole bunch of pictures from D23, which was just such an amazing event. We got Star Wars news, we got uh, Battlefront news, we got, of course, Civil War. Well, we didn't get the footage yet, but we know what the footage is from the people that were there, and it sounds insane. I can't wait till it's actually revealed but nonetheless today we're discussing Disney Infinity stuff and there was a lot of stuff to discuss so first and foremost let's watch the brand new trailer which reveals the Hulkbuster and Ultron this is gonna be my first time watching it so let's do this thing and uh, let's see what awaits for us All rated right. everyone 10 and up sound good. Ooh, that looks cool Ready have some fun yes I am Oh, he is massive! Look at the character model! The Green Goblin is huge! And this guy, like, towers over him. That's crazy. Wow. He is putting a beating on poor old Special Goblin. Delivery. Oh, look at that ultimate! Oh, you've been zapped by the Hulkbuster. That was awesome. And then... Never be oh, I'm not sure if I like that voice. That wasn't, uh, that wasn't James, uh, Spader. No, not, is it Spader? What, what was his name? Beating down Ronin. Ooh, I like that. That's like a force move. Imagine him versus Vader. That's gonna be fun. In the toy box. Ooh, what? You can summon other guys? That looks pretty cool. That looks very, very, very cool. Now, of course, as you saw right there, the only unfortunate part about that is that it does confirm that those figures are only coming in November, which means that, of course, the game launches August 30th, which is TikTok very, very soon. But with that in mind, we need to wait until November until we actually get to play those characters. So that's a bit of a downer, but... I'm still pretty happy about it, and I'm still pretty stoked uh, about the possibility, so to speak, with uh, that particular lineup. So, ladies and gentlemen, of course, now let us discuss the new images that have been revealed, because there are quite a few of those. Uh, again, Hulkbuster, Ultron look fantastic. I hope we get Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch as well to add to the roster. That would be cool. Uh, at D23, they also did confirm that there's going to be a, a Marvel-related playset called Marvel Battlegrounds, I believe, which sounds awesome. I believe that's a storyline than is currently going on in the comics. I'm not really keeping up with the Secret Wars stuff right now or anything like that, so I can't really reflect on it in any meaningful way and like tell you, like, oh, I think this is going to be an interesting storyline. So basically, from what I know, sounds interesting because it basically just kind of like pins a lot of different characters and makes them face off against another, so sounds pretty sweet. So, with that in mind, let's then move on to the other news for uh, from, sorry, D23 and for Disney Infinity 3. Well, let's kick things off with the very, very surprising news, and that was a brand new kind of subline, I guess, of figures for Disney Infinity 3.0, which is going to be called Light FX. Light. F and X, of course, effects kind of type thing. Uh, essentially, this is going to be kind of more of a premium line. You're going to be paying a little bit extra for these figures, and they're going to have light up features. More specifically, the lightsabers will light up. Now, for me personally, being a huge fan of the Marvel Universe as well, I would love, 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 love for them to do something like this for some Marvel characters. Like, for example, that Hulkbuster that we just saw, imagine if they did that, but he could have like a light up chest piece, or maybe the eyes would light up. Like, that would be really cool. So I would love to see these light effects features not only carried over to the Star Wars realm, but also applied to some of the other characters that are available in Disney Infinity. I, at least that's my personal preference. Let me know if you guys agree. But nonetheless, of course, currently the confirmed characters for this lineup are Luke and Anakin, Kanan, uh, Yoda, Vader, and Obi-Wan. Those are going to be the six figures that they launched this particular line with or subline with. And you are, as I mentioned before, going to have to pay a bit of a premium for these. So you're going to pay a little bit extra for them. Uh, essentially, they're going to kind of rival, like, you know how Skylanders have done the re-releases where they have, like, the nicer packaging and they retail for, I think, $29.99. I'm not sure what these are going to retail for because we don't know yet. I'm guessing not that much because this year 
as it is, Disney Infinity has been kind of trying to price more aggressively against its competitors. So we'll see if they actually price it that high. I doubt it. I'm guessing that this is going to be more in the line of like $20 or so, but I could be wrong. So we'll see. We'll see how the packaging is itself. Like if it's really cool, maybe. I would love for them to like have kind of a diorama type thing where you could like connect maybe the packaging in some way to like put this really cool display out with these light effects figures. That would be really cool. Uh, all in all, I think these are really neat. Uh, I just hope they're not uh, going to charge too much for them so that it kind of warrants to purchase them but it is cool because of course the lightsabers do need to light up and it's cool that that feature is now going to be available to us now with that in mind let's move on to the next bit of news which was some new reveals some other reveals for some characters so first and foremost, we have Nick and Judy, both of them, from Zootopia, which is, of course, one of the new up-and-coming Disney films. And uh, they look incredibly well done. I think it looks really, really, really cool. The characters are very vibrant, colorful, uh, and uh, just look really neat. Again, it's cool that uh, with Infinity, we always get collectibles for the newest films. So it's like you're always guaranteed to get something right away that is going to be high quality and gives you a, some sort of a play feature in the game which is pretty neat uh, on top of that they did confirm there will not be a playset for this uh, for zootopia or for this entire world uh, and then additionally to that they did however confirm that there will be a power disc set which is kind of cool so i'm definitely happy about that uh, then let's move on to the next uh, bit of news, which is the one that I was more excited for, and that is the good dinosaur. We have Mr. Pete from the good dinosaur and uh, or Spot, not Pete. Why did I call him Pete? I don't know what that was. Spot from the good dinosaur. Uh, I've seen the trailer for the good dinosaur, and it looks amazing. Like it, it obviously doesn't look like some sort of like unique storyline. It seems like it's going to be a very um, like a story that we've seen before in a coming of age type story, but the way that it's done, it looks like it's going to hit right in the feels, and it just looks really, really neat. So I'm really excited about that. We get the confirmation that Spot is going to be indeed a character in the game. I hope they do the dinosaur as well, like in some way. I don't know, maybe it's too big of a character, but that would be really cool to see. Uh, just to be added into the lineup would be something that would be very, very, very cool. And again, they've done characters like Cars, so why would they not be able to then add a dinosaur? I think that would be really cool to see. Let me know if you guys agree. Uh, along with uh, Spot, they also did confirm the Power Disc pack there. So in the picture, you can see uh, uh, two executives, including John Vignocchi, who is a very cool fella. And you can see the Power Disc pack right there that will be launching along with Spot to go along with the Good Dinosaur theme, which is pretty awesome sawsome. So then let's move on to the final bit of news for today, and that is, of course, The Force of Akins. A Force of Akins. I don't know what that was. A Akins. I don't know why I said it like that. Uh, the Force Awakens. And we finally get confirmations of two characters, so not all the characters yet, but... I would be shocked if we don't get like Kylo Ren and maybe another version of Han Solo, maybe, because it would be kind of easy, just repaint it, so I'm sure that they could do that. Uh, but what we do have confirmed right now is Rey and Finn are both going to be characters in the game, which is awesome and very, very cool. The one surprising factor, I will say, is that Rey, of course, she has her staff, which we've seen her in many, many different pictures with that, so I'm guessing that is going to be kind of like her artifact or her main weapon in the film again we don't know necessarily yet but the interesting factor is that finn is carrying a blaster whereas the d23 poster the exclusive poster for d23 actually had him with a lightsaber a blue one so i'm kind of surprised they didn't do a lightsaber for him because then they could not only release him with the lightsaber but then also do that light effects release which would have been kind of cool so i'm a bit surprised by that but i have my fingers crossed that we get a kylo ren light effects figure because that would be awesome sauce with the cool like you know broadsword type lightsaber which i do like i know some people didn't like that design but i think it's really cool so nonetheless guys as you can see a ton of news came out for disney infinity 3 there was a ton of cool stuff that came out we got uh, new disney originals figures we got a new trailer for the marvel superhero side of things we got the Force Awakens figures, we got the light effects line, I mean, a lot of stuff was revealed, a lot of cool stuff, and I'm very, very, very excited about the future of this game, because there's still some factors that are unaccounted for, and there are still some figures, like I mentioned Kylo Ren, that we have not heard anything about, but I would be kind of shocked if we didn't at least get him. So, nonetheless, ladies and gentlemen, there you guys have it, I hope you guys enjoyed today's news update for Disney Infinity 
3.0. Of course, if you did, please don't forget to leave a like. I will indeed catch you lovely folks next time. Peace out. See you later, alligators. Bye-bye, everyone.